All right, checking out the awesome sequence. It's coming along really, really nicely. I love everything. Uh, my question to you: uh, These guys are that's like the fi final model, just in terms of details and things. I'm just curious, like you know, ears for these guys. Uh, I'm just curious what that could, how that could change. I'm just watching um, T-Rex. I think everything is really cool. I mean, I'm really going. Been looping this, trying to find something so you get your your money's worth. And this first shot is just fantastic. My only comment would be: This is a technical thing. If you watch your guy here, and 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 boop right there, boop boop boop. It already starts to go up, and it looks like it's already blurring along the line. So you might have some constraint pops or something. Do you can see something's going on here. Other than that. Toe stuff is great. Um, you mentioned something about the belly. I know I like all that stuff. Boom! Like the, the whole complexities of the um, of that step there. Boom! It's cool. Stuff on arms is great. Head is great. No, I love it. I mean, how the uh, just here, thing is reacting is great. The fleshiness is great, um, and then the tiger comes in. Yeah, I don't think it would be uh, ears. Would be kind of neat, just because it gives it kind of a weird, weird shape. I like how he comes in. I still understand your note about the tail. That's fine. This is great um, for this guy. I think you could cheat the position where um, the foot is actually back here you know just ch cheat the pose to the frame and then you got your your deck guy here but you know so you can see a bit more stuff here the foot's here I don't know see his arms it doesn't have to be in the tail it would be something like that where you know it, it would give us a bit of a potentially even hold on how is he in the previous shot so he's down he's down like that you know, you could you could almost cheat it where his head is tilted over this way. Yeah, uh, you could have a bit more of you know that guy rotated over, but something where I, you could almost have that type of thing where his body's already kind of going this way with a slight twist in um, what's the word in the chest. This makes no sense. My scribble. So I'm trying to scribble hips, chest, and head. But that makes no sense. Switching colors here. Basically something where you have that and then something with the tail. Not that it has to be like, you know, crazy tail like this where it makes less sense with the cut, but something where it's not straight. That's basically what I'm getting at. Where we don't have to be literal with the cut. And also it's kind of overlapping with that tree there. Just something where it gives us a bit more of a, a nicer cha uh, change there. The shade, you know, tail could be slightly curved again. This is scribble does nothing um, I would probably have something like that and then you can have your your foot back there and then you can keep your arms down there at least something like that would already help the head potentially like that in terms of <clears throat> what's going on that is great it's a short shot but it works my only comment for the cut would be um, visually, to me, it feels like the his ass goes up, which it does, and then boom, the next frame, it's immediately going down, right? So if you watch his ass along the cut here, across the cut, goes up and down. And if there's anything you can do to, you know, even if this was correct, 3D and everything in space, cheat it so that there's something where his butt could still be up and still finishing, um, you know, still finishing that jump. So it, you have a continuous, like a more of an arc down like that, right? So the butt goes up, continues to go up, and then down, which could work with the legs, right? It goes down as he brings his legs forward for the hits. Love all the steps here. So let me just quickly cut this here. Cut! Yeah, it's really neat. Um, 
I think it's my first impression was right here would be need to get a faster like a faster you know sh not a bite but it's kind of a more aggressive shaking in the head but then I'm thinking I don't know but it's like right now the weight is really nice and I'm almost concentrating more on what the dinosaur is doing so with him moving less it's actually actually nice and not distracting but I do register this head turn and I wonder still if there could be something where it's a slight faster move away from us and back with some side to side tilt but kind of like just a little bit of a stronger um, bite and shake for little complexity you could have a moment here on this foot um, you know it's cool to see this if, that, if this could be you know clawing into it slipping down going back up it's a little readjust just a tad again nothing crazy so otherwise we have stuff moving everywhere it just feels like right on that moment here it goes after this everything goes kind of down this could be the moment where it slips down also the pose opens up so we can see it just a little down and then readjust I think could be neat but the impact is great let's watch this again good stuff in the hips there I think it would be neat if you could have a moment where you could almost bring the head up higher this might be too weird but it might be too much of a cheat but um, you know it's bigger so rah, 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 and then legs the way you have it here but then the other paw potentially here something just the only thing I'm reacting to it now is that you got the jaw and this hand here this leg paw thingy overlapping with the jaw <clears throat> so we cut and then right away we're in front of this face and then you got the tail here and then we got the foot still here I don't know if it's intersecting now with the jaw and then the bite so we never really get a clear silhouette of um, the leg uh, the jaw sorry I was thinking what if you know the extension is here on the leg but by the time you're here you could still have a moment of lower which gives you a bit something here and then that way you can open this up higher oh my pen is spazzing out um, but it gives you a bigger opening in the mouth so you have just a moment of a clean silhouette there you can easily have a little bit of movement in the tail just a tiny bit Not that you will ever see it if you just watch this like that because you're focusing on the impact point and everything, but if you just look at the tail, you can see that it's just kind of standing there. It's a little bit of ambient movement. Now, speaking of staring at things, so once you get into detail, once he hits him, and I'll just look and I focus on specific body parts, all I see here on his arms that they are twins and they're stuck in space and they're not moving not moving not moving not moving you know as i say this as there's a movement here but if you just look at his arms and this again it's potentially weird i don't know what you're doing with your motion blur it seems a bit weird but i i mainly also reacting to this guy that just seems to be doing nothing here so boom here and this could be a moment of uh hand goes back and claws right claws down and it gives it that kind of a back and arc forward it kind of goes back it compresses like it it, it it spasms in right it contracts in and does kind of a swipe out just so there's a little movement there and not see as I'm scrubbing here I all I see is just his hand and arm the same spot same with this guy right that would be something the steps are cool there's already awesome stuff in the toes what you could do though is when you do boom and this is the plant this feels soft here um, and it's mainly because it feels like this is high maybe because of the shadow this is not out and these are down oh man my pen what's going on they curve down and it would be neat when you have um, the impact points all right so you're going boom see how you have the toes come up and then they come down and back down there what I would do is anything you can do but the head is kind of in its way let's pretend the head was not in its way like I want to see something where you have this guy here that uh, the toes and, and the foot I'm meeting right this guy here 
here, boom, and then it would be here, but again, it's tricky because it's recovered. The idea is just that once, you could still do it, but then once it reveals the foot here, what I would do is, if there's any way, you can intersect a bit of this in the ground, so bring it lower, so then you have this, this part of the finger out, this is really flat, everything is flat, you know, the with a slight curve up because of the the, uh, the nails being in it. Ah, this makes no sense, right? This stupid drawing with my pen. Why is my pen like this? Just right now, it's the idea of this being close instead of out. That's weird because if you had it out, it would give it more a compression, right? And then these guys visually curving down doesn't feel like there's pressure, weight on it. So there's anything to flatten them. You spread them out and then flatten them. And I'm stopping with my stupid pen. That would be cool there. And then the other guy, it's great. Yeah. yeah, I like that. The weight on the head is good. It's not too much fast stuff. It takes away from the weight. I like that you got a trailing tongue. Then you get the big tail dragging and coming back around. Yeah, just go watch out for the tail on your on your guy here. Uh, that is about it. Super, super cool. And actually, what would help you for big dynamic shots like that? Um, you might want to start doing these guys. You know, green, whatever color you want to call it. This stuff, and then blue, whatever. So we have a clear, clear, clear. Uh, value change between these guys being you know you can leave them whitish and the way you have them but if you make this a bit darker dark green some brown or little blue it just pops it out more um, just because it's getting I can still see what's going on but it would be kind of neat to have a, a bigger visual pop of these guys in action so you can really tell what's going on all right thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.